Hi everyone, it's Rubutani from Konorina.com bringing you a quick hands-on of the brand new Nexus 6P. Now the Nexus 6P is the higher end version, it's the bigger version of the two new Nexus devices introduced this year by Google. This one is made by Huawei and it is a really big device. Uh, but that said, compared to the Nexus 6 from last year, the screen has actually become a little smaller. It's no longer 6 inches and has been dropped down to 5.7 inches, still really large. And uh, surprisingly, the bezels on the side too are not as minimal as we've come to expect from a lot of high-end phones these days. There's a lot of bezel up top and at the bottom as well, but that's mostly because of the uh, dual-ported front-firing speakers that you see up uh, over there and at the bottom as well. Uh, the phone has obviously it comes with on-screen controls. There are no capacitor buttons here. It's a 5.7-inch uh, 2K AMOLED display. Absolutely beautiful. But that said, uh, the brightness levels don't seem to be as good as you'd, uh, you'd expect from a flagship device. It's, uh, it's bright, it's visible, but the highly reflective coating on top because of the Gorilla Glass uh, layer uh, makes, it a little less, uh, makes it a little difficult to read this display in, uh, bright, in bright sunlight or outdoor conditions. So let's move over to the side of the phone then. Over at the right, you'll see the machine aluminium, power button and the volume rocker. The power button has a matte finish of sorts, makes it easy to grip and press. The volume rocker on the other hand, we feel doesn't really provide that good feedback. It's a single bar and there's not enough spacing in the middle to separate out the two ends of the power button. But that said, we'll take another look at this in a full review. Over at the bottom is a USB Type-C connector. This phone supports fast charging, which you will need to fill up the large-ish large, large -ish battery that's built in on this device. Up top is a 3.5mm audio jack and over on the left is the SIM card slot. Uh, this is just a SIM card slot, there is no microSD expansion on this device, nor has there been on Nexus devices for quite some time. And let's move over to the back now. Now it's, it's a Nexus device, loud and proud as you can see, you've got basic minimal Huawei branding at the bottom and a very large Nexus logo here at the back. Above it is a fingerprint scanner. This is a Nexus imprint sensor uh, pioneered by Google on the new Nexus devices. And uh, basically the USP is that this sensor, compared to some of the other sensors out there, is going to learn about your fingerprint over time. It's going to improve, it's going to make it even quicker uh, as you start using it. But by default, Google says that it can detect your, uh, your fingerprint in under 600 microseconds. So that's pretty quick. And up top is the, uh, well, shrouded inside a black plastic module is a, is the camera. It's a 12.3 megapixel camera with a Sony sensor in it, accompanied by a dual tone LED flash. There is also an, a laser autofocus uh, module built into this black plastic somewhere. It's not very visible, just at the right angle you can see that it's built right over here. A laser autofocus module is much faster than conventional autofocus. Uh, so we're seeing a lot of phones coming with a combination of face detection autofocus and laser autofocus which is even faster but yeah this is fast enough and it's going to work very well in low light, low light conditions. The phone is entirely built of, built of aluminium, very solid, feels really good in the hand, it's a very very slim device, uh, well probably not the slimmest out there but it's slim enough, feels really nice, it'll slip into any skinny jeans pocket that you might have. Uh, let's do, I've already set up my fingerprint on this, so let's do a quick demo of that. Uh, tap, and you're in the device. So that's under one second for sure. Google says 600, under 600 microseconds. We can't really test out that claim, but yeah, it's definitely under one second. Very fast. Now, true to all Nexus devices, this phone is nice and smooth all the way through. Uh, Plus, this is a fresh device right now, so you can't really expect it to lag at all. That would be very wrong of any device at all. Um, overall, the experience seems to be quite all right. Uh, no surprises there. I mean, the USB of a Nexus device is that it's going to get quickest updates around. And on that front, it obviously ships with Android 6.0 Marshmallow, uh, which is needed for some of the feature additions that uh, are on this device. Like, there's a lot of feature hardware features that are sort of dependent on the new software features to really uh, give you that give you that capability or that power. For example, you've got the new dose feature built into Android 6.0 Marshmallow. And uh, the way that works is you're, you're going to get a lot more standby time out of your phone. Um, so yeah, if you go here, 
Well, there's no really easy way to demo it, but if your phone is lying on a table, uh, they're going to, it's going to sh underclock itself, it's going to shut down a lot of sensors. You'll still get your notifications, but the battery, but the phone will try to maximize your battery life. Uh, in terms of storage, Nexus device is already shipped with very minimal bloatware. Well, you can't really call it bloatware, very minimal Google uh, applications on the phone. And uh, with Android 6.0 Marshmallow and the new Nexus devices, that's going to be even lower. Uh, out of the 32 GB of storage, there's about 25 GB available. Uh, Google has shifted a quarter of their preloaded applications to the cloud, so you'll just have to download it from the Play Store, which can be both a good and a bad thing. Uh, for the informed user, they can just go and download what they want. For the others, it might not be the best solution. Nonetheless, that's the direction that Google is taking. So we've uh, already talked about the amount of storage on board. It's a 3100 mAh battery and is USB Type-C with fast charging that will quickly charge it up as you would expect. No surprises there on that front. Uh, this is powered by a Snapdragon 810 processor, version 2.1 of that which should most likely fix your issues with heating and uh, underclocking the device. But that that too is uh, something that we'll have to test out in a full review. Accompanying the Snapdragon 810 processor is 3GB of DDR4 RAM. This phone will ship in both 32 and 64 GB variants. Uh, the 128 GB variant is not available in India, unfortunately. Prices start at around uh, 39,900 rupees onwards for the two variants. And then and online, the Nexus 6P uh, is going to be available only on Flipkart. So there's that. You can always buy it in retail though. Uh, this was a quick hands-on of the brand new Huawei made Nexus 6P. Uh, and this was Dhruputani and Hitesh bringing you uh, this video for phonearena.com. If you have any questions at all, please do let us know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.